Mommy Math, an Adventure in Geometry by Cindy Nushwander, illustrated by Brian Langdu. Woohoo! Chirped Math Seals. We're going to Egypt! I want to explore pyramids and see mummies. I'm going to learn how to read hierogly- hieroglyphics so I can unlock the mystery of the tom- tome, said his twin sister Bibi. Matt and Bibi's parents were famous scientists. Their family had been invited to Egypt to help find the mummy of an ancient pharaoh. Dr. Zagazik, the archaeologist, greeted them when they arrived at the site. The pyramid was magnificent. This tomb is a completely mystery, a complete mystery said Dr. Zagazik. We can't find the bur- burial chamber anywhere, so the secrets of the pharaoh still await us, Dr. Zils eagerly. Let's go! Matt, Bibi, and their dog, Riley, crawled through the tiny opening. Foom! A secret door suddenly closed behind them. Help! yelled Math. We're locked in and they're locked out. What should we do? wondered Bibi. Let's go find the mummy. What else can we do? said Math bravely. The walls of the tomb were covered with colorful hieroglyphics. What did they say? asked Math. Bibi read slowly. This king was called the pharaoh with many faces. He built the most complicated Egyptian pyramid ever. Wow, said Math. Where's a tour guide when you need one? Look at this, look at all this geometry solids, said Bibi, ignoring math jokes, math jokes. Cones, spheres, cubes, cylinders, pyramids, tetrahedrons, and rectangular and triangular prisms. I wonder what they mean, said math. Here's a mysterious message, cried Bibi. It says, There are many faces inside the pyramid that can guide you to me. Follow them. Matt, this is a clue to to finding the pharaoh. Where do we start? There are lots of faces on this wall, said Matt. He was looking at the painting of ancient Egyptians. They are all pointing left. Let's go that way. At that moment, Riley snuffled loudly and ran off into the darkness. He's just chasing cat mummies, joked Bibi. He'll come back. Matt and Bibi turned left. Suddenly the ground opened under them. Whoosh! They slid down a narrow shaft and landed in a small empty room. Ouch, said Matt, rushing himself off. This place gives me the creeps, added Bibi. This will cheer you up, said Matt. What's a mummy's favorite music? I give up, said his sister. Rap music! (laughs) Matt, your corny jokes aren't helping us to find the pharaoh or the way out. Face it, Bibi, said Matt. We're totally lost. Face it! That's it, Bibi said excitedly. That's what the pharaoh meant. Matt was confused. If you think of face about faces, what do you think of? asked Bibi. People, said Matt. And maybe mommies too. What else has a face? Remember that first picture? cried Bibi. The flat inside of a geometric solid are called faces. A cylinder have two round faces, a tetrahedron has four triangular faces. A cube has six square faces, so the pharaoh's clues are the faces of solid shapes, said Matt, Matt, not people's faces. The twins walked up on a steep corridor. There is another clue, said Bibi. A single face shows the way. This painting showed a mason cutting a large block of limestone. But that block is a rectangular prism, said Bibi. It has six faces. That's five faces too many. 
The guy shaping the stone looks like he's holding an ice cream cone. <laughs> Matt giggled. That's the mallet they used to chip away the rock, explained Bibi. But the top part is cone-shaped. A cone has single face. Let's follow it. The cone's face was pointing up, so Matt and Bibi scaled the high wall. On a ledge at the top sat a single round stone. That looks like an ancient Egyptian baseball, said Matt. Worker used rocks like this to hammer out tunnels in the pyramids, said Bibi. It's a sphere, but a sphere doesn't have any faces we can follow. Still, the only way to go is through this tunnel, said Matt, pointing to an opening in the rock. They squeezed through the narrow space inch al- an inch along until they reached a wider area. They were dazzled with, by what they saw. Wow, is this the buri- burial chamber? Burial chamber? asked Matt. No, said Bibi, I think this is the antechamber. It's the room that leads to the burial chamber. It holds everything the pharaoh might need in his next life. There are lots of things here I wouldn't mind having in my present life, said Matt, except for this 4,000-year-old bread. (laughs) They found the next clue on a piece of papyrus. Look for six identical faces, it said. A cube? Guess Matt. Maybe this is it, said Bibi. She held her breath and lifted a lid of carved wooden box. Matt laughed. It's a clean underwear for the pharaoh. <coughs> I guess he'd need that in his next life, Bibi giggled. <laughs> a, se- a second cube-shaped box held the clue they, are, they were searching for. It led Matt and Bibi into a room with three gigantic granite towers. The first one was cylinder with cone perch on top. The second wa- tower was a five-faced triangular prism with tetrahedron on it. The third one was a pyramid on top of a rectangular prism. At the foot of each tower was a closed door. Is the pharaoh behind door number one, door number two? Or door number three, asked Matt, bowing and waving at each one. Get serious, said Bibi. The clue in the box told us to enter under the five faces. There had also been a warning. Choose carefully, lest you lose your way forever. I choose door number three, said Matt. That Pyramid has four triangular faces and a square base. That makes five faces in all. He started to open the door. Wait! yelled Bibi. She yanked her brother back. The pyramid does have five faces, but it's resting on top of the face of the rectangular prism. That makes six faces we would walk under. I think number two is the right door. The tetrahedron has four faces, and it's sitting on one face of a triangular prism. That makes five. Let's go. Suddenly, they heard a muffled, mysterious shoveling sound. What's that? whispered Bibi. Matt shivered. Real life, mommy. They hurried through the second door, the burial chamber at last. Two rectangular coffins sat on the floor. The shoveling sound was growing, growing louder. Something had followed them. Let's find this pharaoh and get out of here, said Matt nervously. Bibi and Matt tiptoed towards the two dimly lit shapes. The shoveling sound began snuffling and then howling. Ah! screamed the twins, diving behind the nearest coffin. Bibi peeked around the side. Riley, she cried, you big furry goofball, you scared us. Riley was standing by the other coffins. Matt opened the lid and looked inside. He found his cats, he exclaimed. 
Bibi looked too. I'll bet these mummies were Pharaoh's favorite pets. They opened the first coffins. The Pharaoh's golden burial mask twinkled up at them. This is the last of the Pharaoh's many faces, said Matt. But not the last of his health, Bibi pointed out. There's a map on the coffin lit to uh to show us the way out. And this five faced mountain of stone. Matt grinned. Awesome! Let's go and report back to Dad and Mommy. Get it? Back Dad and Mommy.